Are you preparing for the OET medicine or nursing exams so you can work as a doctor or nurse in a mainly English-speaking country like the UK, Ireland, USA or Australia? Well, IELTS Medical would like to help you with the best online OET course available. Backed by AI technology, you can think of our OET course as your really intelligent OET AI friend that's available to you 24 hours a day and 7 days a week. As you complete the 10 OET units that we've prepared for you, your OET AI friend is learning all about your strengths, weaknesses and what we need to give you to help you improve your OET skills in the fastest possible time. Oh, and your OET AI friend can also produce materials and content to help you improve your skills at the touch of a button. Say hello to your new OET AI friends with a free first module at our website www.oetvideocourse.com Hello, my name is George here. Welcome to our channel. And today we have a very special guest. Uh, Angelo Granada. I am a staff nurse currently working in one of the hospitals in England. Parating ko lang po ng Pilipinas. So, um, I um, nagland po yung airplane dito yesterday, June, uh, January 16. I was supposed to go home last October 2020. The outbreak of coronavirus is now undeniably a global crisis and is now officially all to cancel my um, October annual leave and move it to January instead. I also ask uh, permission from them if I can um, use all my remaining annual leave, which is five weeks. And then they agreed to it as long as I will be aware of the following guy of the um, current guidelines and the guidelines that might come arise. Um, in the future, so they agreed for me to have an annual leave. So it has been approved to have my annual leave for five weeks. On January here in the Philippines. And then, unfortunately... Hey, the British government warned that a new strain of the virus is, quote, out of control. It's also... So I was really afraid. I was um, really worried. Um, since uh, I don't know if I should go home or I should continue or if my flight will be cancelled or will be altered or will be changed. But um, since then, I started um, looking or started um, um, checking the guidelines, the new guidelines every single day, as in every single day. pat naman ako, masub oh, naman ako, yung, yung wifi naga. <laughs> I I thought about it twice, not twice, thrice, but several times if I have to go home or not. But since I have been feeling of, I have been um, experiencing a depression for not seeing my family, and I've been um, experiencing as well anxiety attacks. Um, not. Um, like a mild anxiety attacks when I was at work because of the COVID situation that we, we are having. So, I really um, agreed to myself that I will go home. I asked one of my colleagues to do a COVID swab um, like two days before my flight. Oh, book Oasis from OWA five days prior to the flight. Book the eSafe from the Red Cross um, three days before you fly. I was on the airlines now to check, um, to be checked in. Um, I was really worried because those people who's in front of me had the negative COVID well. So, I told them beforehand that um, I don't have any COVID swab result and then they said that's fine because you're flying to Manila. 
um, you have to wear your face mask all the time. So I was placed on the right side and I was able to occupy the whole sitting area. So I was able to lie down. Everybody actually was able to lie down because they are um, observing social distancing inside the plane. Again, going to Doha, I was really surprised as well because there were a lot of people in the Doha, Hamad International Airport. There were lots of people. So yeah, I spent my time there nine for nine hours. So before we before the um, airplane started, um, we were given um, two pieces of paper. One is the health declaration form, and then the other one is the Bureau of Immigration, like the arrival card. We were welcomed by those people coming from the Bureau of Quarantine. I think those are the people from Bureau of Quarantine, but I'm not sure. Um, they have um, like a gown, protective gear. So they make us fall in line. They made us fall in line, specific, and then um, they're gonna ask if you are a sea base or a land base. So definitely, they're going to um, separate those who are working as a seaman and then those are working on land. So they asked to prepare the yellow form, which is the health declaration form. And I told them that I came from the UK. They were really surprised. Sure. So after that, we were welcomed by the Coast Guard. They asked us they ask us to prepare the easy form, the Red Cross, the QR code, because um, you're gonna use it for your swab. I was swabbed first at the nose, the back, um, at the tip of the nose until the back of the throat. Like, just, that was the first time that I've been swabbed very, very deep. Was been put here um, in great. We arrived here. We were being um, um, oriented by one of the Coast Guard. What um, what will be the do's and don'ts? So this accommodation doesn't allow any deliveries coming from outside or coming even from your relatives. Um, you're, we were not allowed to go out, and then we were not allowed to buy something even though the sw our swabs will come back negative. So after that, we were being put to our rooms, given our how, um, room keys and tender rooms, and here, we are waiting for the 14 days. The door to give your food, the feeling of excitement is there. It's just true. oh my god, there's the food! <laughs> <laughs> so so, so oh long, sir, promise. And then I was um I am tempted na i-open yung mga baggage ko. So, Totoo lang. Na yung mga ipapasalubong ko sa kanila. Parang gusto ko lang buksan. Okay, cable, sir. Pero <laughs> wag mo na itanong, sir, yung TV just ko lord. And then after that, uwi na ako <laughs> sa basement. Worth it siya kung ang annual leave nila is katulad sa akin, like five to six weeks. Kasi meron pa akong natitirang three weeks to spend with my family here in the Philippines. Um, kung ang annual leave mo is four weeks or three weeks lang, siguro advice ko magstay na lang muna dyan. Kasi parang hindi worth it yung short period of time like you have to wait for 14 days doing nothing. As long as makita mo yung family mo, that, um, that is more than enough. The reward sa'yo. Always remember, Manong Knows. Manong Knows best Put your worries to rest When staying in the United Kingdom Manong Knows best Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Join our Facebook group, Filipino UK Nurse. 
sign up to our website, www.filipinoyuknurse.com.